Welcome back to our Elm Creek adventure on Farming Simulator 22, day 16, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Happy 16th of December, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, go into your advent calendar if you haven't already done it. Um, I'm at the store, as you can see. And as you've already seen, I decided, you know, because I only got 3,000 per load for the wood chips yesterday. And I thought, well, I've paid nearly 10 grand to lease it. I need to get my money's worth. So... I did take it up to the forest up near the sawmill, which I have access to. Uh, and a lot of the trees that had already been pre-cut down, I cut them into those chunks. I didn't really sh talk on that clip. I just was doing that. I chopped it all up into small chunks. They were in longer lengths and fed them in. So I was actually, at one point, I was back up to where I was before I leased it. So I think I was up to about 53 grand, 54 grand. Um, I think roughly. But the money has gone down a bit again, and there is a reason for that, which we'll see. Actually, you've probably already seen from the thumbnail, haven't you? Of course you have. But I've got a lot to get done today. Got a few jobs. Um, what is Nog without the egg, I ask you? At Christmas time, it's not something we really go into much in the UK. I mean, maybe it is about, but I've never had it. Maybe every other family in the country does it, but I not something I've ever had. Um, I know in Canada and America it's a big thing, and some parts of South America... It's a big thing. Let's grab this. Um, so, chickens. We're going to get some chickens. Um, the, the reason the money's gone down, I've already got a pen. We've placed it. Um, it means we'll get eggs for myself, for Angie, for Chris, and selling potentially. We'll see how we go. And um, what I was going to show you, if you haven't already seen this, the power of the Jedi. I'm about to, well, hopefully, if it works, of course. I can't remember which way round I need to do this. It might be the other way round. Yeah, let's swing this round. This is new. If it does it, I'm on the wrong way round. Could be the wrong way round. Hang on. I thought I wasn't. That's weird. Watch it, not going to do it now. Doesn't want to play ball. Are you serious?
There we go. That wasn't done in editing. That's new. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. <laughs> Again, we're in that weird realm of is it a glitch? Is it supposed to be doing that? I don't, I don't know. I must admit it's not something I ever... I mean, I never used to like header trailers particularly. But picking up header off the floor, putting onto the header trailer was never a problem. Taking it off was always a little bit of a... Because sometimes they would get caught up and if you're on a slope and that kind of thing, it wasn't particularly great. So, yeah, there you go. In case you weren't aware it does that, it does. A few people have put videos up on it already, but it's not while I'm doing this. So, anyway, eggs. Um, we have got a little bit of wheat in storage at the farm but chickens will take wheat, barley or sorghum now wheat and barley contracts as we know are a bit you know at the moment so I've taken a sorghum contract on which is what this is for I've also said I was going to do some sugar beet because I wanted to get the money up a little bit I mean how much money we'll get I don't know but um, I've got all the gear there for doing the sugar beet that's as far as it got and I thought oh I'll go and grab the harvester and do this We'll get on with that as well. So we're going to do some sugar beet, we're going to do some sorghum, we're going to get the chickens. Quite a packed one today for me, I know. A bit mad, isn't it? Um, still no snowmen. Uh, we're going to go down here. Which is weird, but anyway. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then hopefully we'll get some eggs produced so we'll be able to have some nog before Christmas. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I was going to take on multiple sugar beet contracts, but it's also dawned on me um, they're going to take a while because these aren't self-propelled sugar beet harvesters. They're the, the pull-alongs, and I have got the topper, so we're good for that. I didn't quite put this at a good angle, did I? Never, never mind. Not to worry. The other problem I've got is hiring a worker. I don't really want to hire a worker because of how much it's going to cost. I did think as well... Did that come off there alright? Yeah, kind of. I did think about hiring a worker and then going off to try and find some more... Um, some more toys and finding a toy to pay for the worker fees because I just think they're just a bit exorbitant at the moment. They're certainly up there. Let's turn that on. And let's get... No, 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 what are you doing? Drop the header. There we go, cruise control on. Okay, why is this... Oh, I do like the fact we saw them. But it doesn't cut right to the ground. I know they said initially, um, when they first did it, and showed people the video clips, people had said that with sorghum harvesting, it just takes the top, it literally takes the tops. And I like the fact as well with, uh, what is it, the corn harvesting now as well, the header doesn't go all the way down. So you get these much longer stalks left on the field with the sorghum. I like that, I think it's cool. So I'm going to do what I've done before, turn the speakers off now, uh, with every contract I do now that I'm sending off anywhere, I'm going to adjust my figures slightly. I had said around 60%, I'm going to go for about 62%. So if I fill up the trailer, I'm going to put it into the silo at the farm just to store it we'll work out how much we got off the field I'm going to work out about 62% of that that's what we'll deliver that should with the field completely cleared that should complete the contract and then hopefully the 38% that's left can be ours we can use that for feeding the chickens and we'll get the chickens in like I say I have got we have got some wheat in storage so we could get on with that straight away oh I just realised what I haven't done I do apologise. Hang on just a moment. That's better. I know people can get quite annoyed with me when I do that. Um, when I was bringing all the gear out to settling up, I didn't have the time on times three. There was still some debate about whether I should be on times five, but I'm happy on times three. It's the time setting that suits me that I think is the best, you know, um, to be fair, by the time I finished doing the forestry, bear in mind I, all I did yesterday was those two trees, then went up to the forest and I think I did two more loads? Yeah, two more loads of wood chips, was it three? Anyway, whatever, whatever it was. By, by the time I'd done that, on times three, it was about 
4.35 p.m., something like that. It was starting to get dark. So, I mean, that was the day, really. I mean, it's that's to me, is more realistic, I think. It's strange, isn't it, how as soon as you put seasons on, how, what is going on? No. Every time I go to um, put cruise control on, I'm knocking on the high, yeah, the worker by accident. Um, it's funny how like you can play the game normally. Like FS19, I would do let's plays and play the game, you know, without seasons on or anything like that. And people never really minded. I would normally play real time, and uh, as I would do contracts and some of the bigger ones as well, it take me hours and hours and hours and hours playing real time. It's only when you put seasons on that people start to get really annoyed about the time thing, you know. If I left it on real time or, you know, it wasn't on times five, which I did when I did some of the season stuff on, on uh, six ashes and stuff. And uh, a couple of times when I set the video up for that day and I started recording and I, I forgot to do the time, people can get quite annoyed in, in the comments about the fact I hadn't done the time. Um, I, I didn't think it was too big of an issue, but I suppose... Um, so I do try to remember as best I can. I think it's going to be an okay yield off this field. The better the yield, obviously, the more we end up with. That's kind of, I mean, to say that that was kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> right, cruise control. There we go. Yeah, same dawned on me yesterday. I was doing some stuff and uh, I was doing that logging up in the in the woodland. And suddenly thought, there's no reason why I couldn't start off. I could do some animals. Oh, bees as well. I can, I can get bees underway. I just I don't, don't have to feed them, do I? We can get some bees going, can't we? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Chris and Angie, I'm turning your farm into a bit of a menagerie. Is that the right word? Menagerie. I think so. I mean, I was going to say zoo, but I mean, they're farm animals, so I'm turning your farm into a farm, just with more livestock. So we'll see what we end up with off this. Once this is done, I'll get it delivered. We'll try my 62% method this time, rather than 60%. That should be absolutely perfect, it says. Fingers crossed. And then we'll uh, move to Chicory, and I'll get on with that. I was going to hire the Beatty Boys, I don't know if you remember the Beatty Boys from back on Lone Oak, I think was the first time they made an appearance. Although the Beatty Boys did have the distinctive yellow gear, and I think because we, we're leasing or borrowing equipment from farmers. I don't know, we'll see. I was thinking because the sugar beet harvest might take a little bit longer. I could hire a worker for that. Or I guess I could hire a worker for this and then I can crack on with doing the sugar beet. I'm still in a real dilemma. I thank you to the people that sent me pictures and descriptions of where they found more toys. I've been kind of, you know, like I said, I haven't done gold nuggets and gold coins on maps and the gold bars that Jim did. And you kind of say to yourself, you know, if I was doing this, if I was a map maker and I was... Put in, where would you put them, you know? You wouldn't put them in the middle of fields, you know, because obviously people have got a harvest. So I don't know, maybe they have. Maybe doing the harvest will uncover some of them, I don't know. Um, and it's interesting, I've, I've kind of been to all the usual, the places you would expect. I've been around most of the buildings, I've been around most of the farmhouses I've come across, and houses I've come across. Anywhere where there have been ladders, then up against stuff, I've gone up onto roofs because the ladder's got to be there for a reason, hasn't it? You know, I've been under bridges, I've been down all the water courses. I've still got loads of them. I think I found one yesterday and it said um, five more to collect. I'm, OK, where are they? So I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of... I'll, I'll find them, I'll find some more, I guess, but I'm kind of running out of places to look. So yeah, what I might do, you might see it jump up in a minute, because what I'll probably do is I'll, um, when I get a full load, I'll empty that into the trailer, then I'll hire a worker, and actually I'm just thinking, 
because that end opens out to field to be all right I might do another strip this way just to give any worker a fighting chance to turn around I have to say I found them to be a bit better um, on here as far as doing field work goes what's really weird is after I did my initial video on AI workers I was over the moon I was blown away by the whole thing I thought it was incredible but the last few times I've tried to use them I've had game crashes I know I mentioned it a while back maybe on the, on the streams I did I'm, I'm really worried because it worked fine and nothing I say nothing's changed I don't know what's changed since then can't think what would have changed there's not been an update since then I know someone said there was a stealth update that popped in with when they dropped all their mods I don't, I'm not quite sure what a stealth update is but apparently it was a stealth update um, but doing a stealth update to make something worse doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> that's just me right let's go and unload this into the trailer and then I'll set a worker off uh, and then I'll whiz off and see if I can find one. I'll just see if I can find one somewhere. And then we'll get over to the... Uh, I've got a funny feeling we're going to fill this up. In which case, like I say, we'll put it into the silo. We'll work out the total and I'll deliver 62%. Whoa, no, that's way off. There we go. That's better. Could probably adjust that nozzle, can we? Just trying to think. There we go. Thought we could somehow. At least it will give us some chicken feed to get going. I don't know how many chickens we're going to buy. Um, but I'm not going to buy newborns. I'm going to buy all um, ready to ready to go, <laughs> so to speak. Probably get a couple of cockerels in there, maybe. I really hope I do find one now. Right, now I don't know if you can see this, but as I'm turning this, this camera, can you see that kind of almost like flickering? Is anyone else getting that? Well, I'm not down at this level. It seems to be okay, but I'm having some real issues with that. Right, let's let him carry on. Owned by Jimmy Caldwell. It's weird, I've even started kind of looking into sort of drains and anywhere I can think of that there might be ones tucked away. I think I've got over the um, railroad silo, over that side, there were about four or five over there, got all those. Got the one on top of the grain mill. Um, I think I'm in the biogas. The biogas plant was somewhere I, th I thought there would be one. Now, maybe there is, but I didn't find one. Um, I've been all the way along the watercourse under here. I've been around all the various different farms and farm buildings. So here's our chicken pen. Um, I'm not going to put the chickens in now. I suppose I could put them in now, couldn't I? You know what? Uh, we're going to go a couple of roosters, I think. We'll go with two. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll go for... How many would it let us do? 28? Can we 28 birds to start us off with? That's not to start us off with, is it? This only holds 30, doesn't it? Or am I misremembering? That could be why. It's the two and the... So I'm not going to get any new chickens, but if they're at their maximum, we should get eggs. I'm sure it is. Hang on. Let's double check that. Am I going mad? I'm pretty sure the, ch the chickens was only... Yeah, 30 is the maximum in that one. So, we're at maximum amount of birds in there. Couple of cockerels. We'll get some feed in there for them. And then we should be okay. Haha, -ha, he says. For some, um, for some eggs. And then the knock-on being the nog. You know what's just popped into my head? Nogging the nog. Um, but weirdly, I've heard that phrase, nogging the nog, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, I'm going to go off now and see if I can find at least one 
one more toy to cover the cost of paying. I know I should, it should be coming out of my budget, but like I say, I just honestly think at the moment the price is so high for, for workers. You know, when you're doing a contract that pays you out a grand or like 1,500 quid and it charges you nearly a grand in worker fees, it's like, what? It just, it just, the correlation's just way off. Um, we'll get this into the field. I'm going to top first and then go round. I'm, I'm not... I'm, I don't know. I find it quicker doing that way. I could top and harvest at the same time. But I've found before... Although I don't know if this does this. This is a different one. It's wider, isn't it? It is a rootster, isn't it? 604. What am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of the right thing. I don't, really open it. Well, I don't remember opening it up, but okay. Oh, maybe I will do it all in one pass. We'll see. Right, see you in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might get lucky. I did find one up on the roof here. Again, there's ladders. As soon as you find ladders <laughs> like that, you're like, oh, hang on a minute. Why is there ladders? I think there was one up there on the chimney. I didn't find any others up there. I've been checking porches, porches, verandas, inside containers, buckets, bathtubs, anything I find around. I'm kind of, I'm going to look in there because you never know. Oh, sorry, is this your house? Apologies. Uh, right. Do these open? I don't think they do, do they? No. Spoiler. <laughs> I found, I found these. I mean, that's rather impressive. Um, if you don't want to know where I am, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to show on the map, but looking out, you might be able to work it out from where I'm looking. Um, I only wanted to find one. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, that will cover worker fees for a little while. That'll be fine. I'd be amazed if there's any more here. It's always worth a look. You never know. The trouble is, I just clicked on all those, and in my excitement, I didn't look to see each one. It normally tells you how many are left. I didn't look to see if there were, if it said there were any left. Anyway, not to worry. Um, let's get back and get this sugar beet going. Uh, now I know I haven't got to worry about the um, worker fees for a bit. We'll crack on. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, the birds on 19 was amazing, but people kind of, after a while, took it for granted, didn't really think too much about it. Deer are an amazing feature added in. You know, I know, you know, again, there are still problems, and that's a minor thing that, that doesn't add to the gameplay per se, but it just, you know... Okay, I'm going to be very ageist now. <laughs> Can I mention Nog in the Nog? I think my dad used to talk about it. I don't ever remember seeing it. Um, but here's the thing. I've looked it up. A Nog in the Nog um, was a, a TV... It was a TV series. A popular British children's TV series. Um, and it was broadcast originally 1959 to 1965. Well, I wasn't born till 73. There were children's books on it that went from 65 to 77, so possibly I saw the books. I don't know, I'm just trying to think. Um, it seems to be kind of based around a kind of Viking esque. So we should top. We should top and tail. As we go. I, I normally, yeah, I don't normally do like doing it this way. I prefer to top and then come on with the harvester because I'm always worried about missing bits, as you often do. I mean, you can do. I think we can also hire, a pro probably again on this, we'll hire a worker. Um, so, yeah, the, the series is based around a central character, or a character of Noggin. Um, he was the good natured son of, I think it's Knut. 
He was the king of the Nogs, was Knut, and his queen Grunhilda. So you can see there's a kind of, you know, definite kind of Viking Norse kind of feel to it. Uh, when King Knut dies, Noggin must find a queen to rule beside him or else forfeit forfeit the crown to his uncle, Nogbad the Bat. <laughs> Love it. He meets and marries Nuka of the Nukes, an Inuit princess, and becomes the new king. So it's the story of that. If you've never heard of it, that's what it is. Um, if you have heard of it, you're older than I am. Also, say so you're really old, that sounds awful. You're just older than I am. That's all. Um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? How I remember that vividly, the, 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 the name, but don't remember having seen it. How weird is that? I suppose I probably must have done, but it's one of those series that never kind of returned to TV again. Maybe it did, maybe it has been shown again at different times. Who knows? The weird and wonderful things you find out when watching Mr. C B. I wonder if that's something you could you could pick up on I don't suppose you could pick up on DVD. I was watching what was I watching recently? Um it might have been about a comedy show. And they were saying about um the BBC not the you didn't say who was that was it by the BBC? It doesn't say. Um and I think during the 50s and 60s, oh, it's about Monty Python. That was it, about Monty Python. And when they were doing the TV show. And um, at the time, the BBC wouldn't pay, oh, blimey, oh, wouldn't pay for new film. So, uh, pipe out? There we go, it would be that side, wouldn't it? So the BBC would wipe film of shows to use on new shows. And um, Monty Python kind of got wind of this. Someone tipped in the wink and said that this is happening. So Monty Python went to the BBC and said, right, we want to buy, <laughs> we want to buy our own film. I think it was something like 90 quid or something for a reel, or might have been less than that. Um, actually, what I'm going to do, let's detach that one, so I'm lugging them both around. And um, yes, yeah, so they, bought, they bought the film because the BBC wouldn't pay out the money to buy new film. They were just wiping old TV series. And that's why a lot of things you watch, they did list a whole load of things um, that were kind of lost forever. That you, you know, you remember seeing them vaguely or you've heard of them, but you can't find footage of them anymore and they certainly never went to DVD or never got converted, that kind of thing. Because they were wiped and they just disappeared. They, they never existed after that. Um, so it might be one of those things that if the original film went, there was no way that would ever then be brought to DVD like things like Mr. Ben and all those things I remember watching as a kid, I bought those on DVD for my kids. Now, they hadn't been aired for a long, long time, but they still were available on DVD. Whereas, um, I'm just concerned now that I may have um, carried on going because I was too busy talking and not realised that my harvester was full, so I might have potentially lost some crop there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hire a worker let the worker crack on don't know how well it's going to turn we'll see if we get a message because I'm pretty sure the other harvest is going to be done we'll get that delivered we'll work out how much there is to deliver what we need to we're just through here yeah so anyway, I thought I'd throw that in there <laughs> I'd love to be able to find that it's not even like you know oh it reminds me of my childhood because I have no recollection of ever watching it but it sounds like a great premise for a series. Um, where's me? Where's me, Arvister? Okay, it's over there. It looks like it has finished, though. Which is good. I don't know what we've got in it, whether that's going to be enough to fill it or whether I'm going to have some extra, so I'll have to work out work out the percentages. And this one is going to, I think it's going to feed and grain south, if I recall correctly. Field 41 active, sorghum, yeah, feed and grain south. So we are showing 84%, which means the field is completely cleared. 
that's a good sign. So how much is left in it? Time for some maths, some mathematics. Please don't fill up you annoying. Oh, I'll just have to add the two together. Right. So in here, 25,500. Plus, should have actually just made a note of that, shouldn't I, while I was doing it. 22,380 equals. Lovely. Right. Divide that by 100. Multiply it by, oh, there's probably another way I could do it. Multiply it by 62, so 17,285 is what I need to deliver. <laughs> I'm just thinking what I might do. I'm going to take this to the silo anyway. I'm going to put it in the silo, then unload from the silo into here to get 17. Three, excuse me, that'll put me about 62%. Hopefully, that'll be enough to complete the contract because I was doing 60%. And when I did the uh, what was I doing the other day? Was it potatoes? Yeah. Whichever contract I was doing the other day to show that that system on the trains, um, and it kind of went a bit peak tong, but that was only because. It worked on potatoes, but didn't on that. So I think if I hedge my bets and go with 62. And then we can give them some feed as well. And then also what's left in the harvester I need to grab. Um, I don't want to make a mistake and uh, <laughs> complete the contract and then lose everything that's there. Because that's a nice tidy amount. Let's unload that into the silo. That finished or is it just decided nah I'm, I'm alright thanks it's not full again is it what how is it oh. no just decided I'm alright thanks I'm done I'm, I'm, I'm great I'm just going to head off now if that's alright with you mate let's try this again shall we come on then you can do this I have faith in you. We got this. We shall see. And we'll get all that done. Yeah, tomatoes. I switched over to tomatoes. That's only showing 45 litres. I thought overnight that would have. It's not, not going to be as prolific as the strawberries were, but I thought it would be a little bit more prolific than that. So, what we'll do now. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Um, I've still got that sunflower to sell as well. Seventeen two four four. That says seventeen two eight five. You know what? I'm going to give that a go. That's where we're heading down there. So. Fingers crossed. Let's check the road this time because when I pulled out yesterday, I didn't look and a car came. There you go. As if by magic. This is the my tractor. Oh, that was the thing I was going to say as well. You know, I bought that second hand tractor. One of these, actually. Um, which is all very lovely, but it was second hand. Blimey, are the repair costs ridiculous. I repaired it before I started using it yesterday, didn't I? What did it cost me? 700 and something? Um, all I did was hold wood chips, and it's like lost half of its, its. Honestly, it's terrifying. So I suppose because I got it so cheap, was it 60 odd percent off, wasn't it? There's going to be. Um, 
Yeah, there's going to be a penalty for that, and that penalty is the fact I'm just going to have to repair it more often. It's that solder scene, isn't it? You know, it looks all right. I've checked it all over, but you know, I'm trying to think. Have I ever told this story before? A friend of mine called Jason years ago, when we were all younger and at Air Cadets all together as cadets, not as instructors. A few of us had started driving, learned how to drive, and he went out and bought a TR7. A TR7 was kind of a two-seater sports car thing. I said, yeah, I mean, it was. So he went to look at this thing, and he didn't know a lot about cars. Um, took a couple of his mates with him there to look over. He drove to my house to ask my dad's advice. And my dad had tinkered around with cars for years, but you know what it's like? You, know, you pop the bonnet, you turn the engine on, you look, you're looking for oil leaks, and you know, does it sound right? So my dad went out, had a look. And he's like, yeah, yeah it seems all right, Jason. You know, it's just running fine. It sounds okay. There's nothing sort of metallic sounding it all sounds all right the gear changes were all right it was, it was fine you know so jason like, thanks ever so much dave off he goes <laughs> literally drove from there back towards his house started making a horrible noise and he pulled over and the car caught fire and literally burnt out i just honestly you could make it up absolutely crazy so let's see shall we please come up contract complete come on have i done my calculations correctly Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> this has been working consistently. How am I 10% adrift? Baffled. Baffled. Every other contract I've done, it's worked out about 60%. And I upped it to 62 Well, I'm still going to have crop left, but it's, it's like... Right, I'm going to stop here a second. Bear with me, I'm going to, I'm going to crunch some numbers. I'm back at feed and grain. I've got another 2,890 litres, which I'm hoping, if my calculations are correct, will complete the contract. A lot has changed since you last saw me. The update went live. I came back on, and I wasn't on December the 16th, I was on December the 15th. <laughs> Honestly. A few other things have changed as well. Uh, worker fees, as you can see top right, it's not plummeting like a stone. I've only got one worker working at the moment, but it's still nowhere near as bad as it was which is great i'm going to show you some other bits in a moment please complete the contract please be good to me come on fingers crossed oh yes contract complete so i had to put a little bit more in than i thought it was going to but it does mean we should be left with uh where are we no. Up here, um, sorghum, 7,746 litres. Add that to the 3695 of wheat. We should be good to go with our chicken so we can feed those momentarily. The sugar beet is continuing. I'm going to be putting that into the storage silo at the um, railway depot. Um, <sighs> railway silo. Um, why, why is my mind saying, you don't know the words? What are the words? Grain pool east, but anyway, the big silo there. Um, now, I've done a video on a load of the updated stuff and a lot of the new features. One feature that, when I read out the um, change log, it didn't say, at least if it did, I may have missed it, and it's this. And again, consoles 
I mean, dare I say game changer. Um, let's go into our settings here. Well, let's go to our time scale. So we've got, I mean, it's amazing that we've got half real time. We've got two, three, five, six, you know, all these ones we did now before. Let's go back the other way. We've now got 360, 240, as well as the 120. So we, we can really speed time up if we want to now. Um, and that's not, honestly, I'm, I'm on PlayStation 5. I'm on console. This is not PC. So we're now at 120, 240 and 360. So for skipping through days, I mean, you can do it with your sleep trigger. Um, unfortunately, there are a couple of things that are a bit odd. My strawberry pallets that I put on somewhere, the pallets have now changed. I'm assuming they've doubled in capacity. Oh, there was something I was going to check. Something dawned on me. Um, was pallets. I can never understood why the big bag, the, the pallets and the big bags, the big bags always double the capacity of the pallets when you bought them, but they weren't. They were a thousand, and weirdly the prices were a little bit janky to say the least. Um, I was a little bit puzzled. My strawberry pallets, now only half of each pallet is full, but still saying 150 litres, so I'm assuming capacity is doubled. Probably because when you were doing contracts like that, there were so many pallets pouring out on. I guess they've had to do that. It looks like my work has decided to stop because the money is not going down, so I'm assuming he's decided to do a runner. Not very helpful. Um, what I will do now is park this up with the gear for that contract. The other thing, as well, is supposedly. Grain contracts are now completable, so we should be able to complete grain contracts. I'll show you what I mean. So, on the next episode, we're going to hit a couple of grain contracts. I think I don't know, we've got a couple. We've got some oats and we've got some uh, wheat. Look, see what I mean? These ones, that full pallets, they're now only halves. And we've got smaller trays, but stacks of three on each. But that's still saying 150 litres, although it's only using half the pallet. So, yeah, a um, bit peculiar. What are you going to do? Um, I'm getting a very weird noise over here. Don't know if you're going to hear it or not. But... Is it still doing it? It's like a whirring and clicking. It's all very odd. Uh, so, sugar beets to complete. Once I've done the sugar beet harvest, we'll get that sent off and then I'll get my trailer out the barn and we're going to feed our chickens and we can get them going. The whole premise behind this was that we had some egg to go with our nog. That was the point. That trailer's full. That one's now being filled. It's all going all right. So hopefully most of the issues have been fixed. There was a, a thing at the bottom of the blog post to say known issues and they're ones that they're aware of that aren't fixed yet. They are going to be, I assume, working on them. <laughs> Other than that, they're just saying, yeah, these are known issues, but we're not going to do anything about them. I'm sure it will be fine. Just hoping things like the uh, collectibles have to reset. It did say, so that's been fixed as well for those people that were going around getting collectibles coming back into their game and finding them reset that apparently has been fixed so fingers crossed for that I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. should have just turned it off there we are going to be full pretty soon I'm going to see you in a little while once this field is complete and we are over at the silo with the full load, I will do, I will do my calculations again. I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to have to go up a bit now, maybe go to, I don't know, rather than 62%, 63, 64, maybe in the 65%. Although sugar beet wasn't, oh no, it was potatoes I did well on before, wasn't it? Hmm. Like this. 
I was kind of hoping one of these John Deere's came up on sale items. It does say as well they've adjusted the sales system pricing. I hope that's for the better and not the worst. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if there's anything for sale. Oh, hmm. see, I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm just imagining, but 39.41, that's 59 speed tiller. Mm. Requires 550 horsepower, which I don't have. Yeah, a lot of them were sort of 50s and 60s. Oh, I hope that's not, that's not how it's going to be moving forward. I'm also aware this episode's going to be probably a lot longer. Um, because I've taken on more jobs than I have done in previous episodes and obviously with the changes to the game with the patch and that kind of thing um, it's been a, a, a weird day I've been trying to kind of sort everything out that's full and full This could be another disaster like it was. I mean, it wasn't a disaster, it just means we've got to come back and redo a little bit more. If this is like the potatoes, it should be. I've gone for about <laughs> I've gone for about 60% again. I may need to adjust it. Um, I had 44,337. I've loaded on 27,959, nearly 28,000 litres. I'm going to send it off. And hopefully, if it's not, it's going to be like a 1,000 litres out or something like that. Don't get it. Come on, bring the train back. <laughs> I think across the board, it must have just been a, a blip or something. I know, when I did all the figures for my potatoes, it was it was 60%, 61. And I did some other harvests and it was about the same. Since then, it's been a lot of fiddling around with extra little bits. I don't want to send the whole lot. And it's just a case of, I'm trying to get that margin spot on. So I'm not wasting anything. So I'm not losing out on anything. Whenever I do it, the problem is now, trying to put in... I don't know what he's putting, two, three thousand years maybe? If that's going to be enough, I don't know. Potentially. I'm going to do this. Oh, it's 4,200. It's probably too much. Or, or possibly not enough. I don't know. There we go. Contract finished. So what we should have left in here, and there should be a fair bit, is all ours. Potato, sorry, sugar beet. 12,174 litres. Again, not to be sniffed at. So we, we can, we've got a few bits. Sunflower price has plummeted. I'm hoping this isn't part of the update. Because... All of those were over a thousand, although they were low, or they were, they were falling, that's all very low. Sorghum price is pretty good. That's frustrating, because <laughs> you don't want to feed that to my chickens. Um, we'll start off with the wheat. We'll put the wheat in. Um, I could call the train back and send it off and get paid. We'll see if the price comes up at all. You know, the price might go up and we might get around the 400s for sugar, but it's there, it's in storage. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is use this tray that was part of the contract to take it back to... Oh, no, I can't put it... Our silo won't take it, will it? No, it won't. Um, so we'll have to leave it in storage here. Not a problem. Both those contracts are complete. I will see you back at the farm. I will complete both contracts. We'll get the money for those, and then we will feed our chickens. And that's <laughs> that was all I had on my list of things to do today was to do the chickens and get some sort of crop I could feed them with, and it kind of we extended it. Out. 
uh, tomorrow. I haven't decided. Um, oh yeah, I might try out. The, we'll try out the, the new contracts. We'll do the wheat and um, I think there's some oat ones as well. We'll try those. Uh, we might have enough. I think I'll buy it. We'll buy our header. I don't think that's going to suddenly pop up on the sale menu. So we'll get our header and we can use our harvester. Um, and we'll pick up some of those and see if we can complete the wheat contracts now, the grain contracts. If we can, that solves a few problems. Let's complete on both of those. So that one collect, that one collect. Oh, we've got another cultivating job pop up. God, that pays well. I mean, even if we take a hit on 2,100. You know what? I'm going to accept that. I'm not accept it. Borrow items. That's another, well, just over 10 grand. Yes, please. We'll get all over that in a bit. Right, let's, let's get our chickens fed. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do, wasn't I? We we're going to go into here. Oh, look, they've got Alexi. Oh, 40% off. I haven't got that kind of money, but I suppose we could borrow from the bank. Um, right. So these are 1,000 litres. Lime's 2,000 for the prices that it's showing. The big bag, hang on. The big bags were always twice the size. The lime is still twice, but all the others... I don't get it. The big bags, I suppose because it's the difference between bags and pallets, but the whole point was they were big bags. They haven't changed. Um, what about the pallets then? Actually, it's not going to show us, is it? No. Strawberry pallets and stuff. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, I was just curious. You never know. Look what we get in this, bottom right. <laughs> Look at what... It's absolutely bonkers. I only repaired this yesterday. We'll have a look and see about repairing it, how much it's going to cost us. we put the wheat in. It may take all of that. I'm not sure. anything that's good so we've got plenty of stuff to feed the chickens moving forward we're not going to get stellar amounts of eggs because we're on you know one day days we're not doing a month per day or anything like that um put that back in there i'm off to do a cultivating job let's earn a bit more money and then yeah, tomorrow new header take on some grain contracts The trouble is, am I imagining things? Does that seem a lot slower? I don't know. The problem is, you get the update and you're now thinking, oh, was that, was that the same before? It's different when you're playing a game. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Before we finish. Yeah, when you've been playing a game for like a year or two years and you've got so used to the settings and how things work, that when something changes, you're like, oh, blimey, that's changed. But because it's only been a few weeks, you're now thinking, hmm, maybe I'm misremembering, but. I paid 700 to repair this a day ago. 221. It's a problem. You fix something, you put strain on other parts. Something else will break. But with that done, we shall now have egg for our nog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.